Hi, it's John Bennett here from Total Rockstar Blueprint and today I'd like to share with you some video creation tips and how, as musicians, you can keep creating fresh content using your iPhone or smartphone for your online profiles. So, stay tuned! Most of us have an iPhone or some kind of smartphone and they're excellent for creating video content and, as we all know, or should know by now, video rocks. When we're creating video content, we do need good quality video and audio. So I'm using an iPhone 5 and I'm finding the quality of the pictures and the videos more than adequate for most of my online uses. But even more important than the video, the audio has to be great quality. You know, people will suffer average quality video, but they won't put up with poor quality audio. And after all, you are producers of audio. So here's a few solutions for you. The first is the Smart Lavalier microphone from Rode. Now, this cool little mic also has a great software app for your phone so you can get good control over your recordings. The second is the Tascam IXZ mic and guitar interface. Now, I think this is a pretty good solution for guitar and bass players and vocalists because wherever you are you can hook up to your phone and put your ideas down as they're happening. You can use dynamic or condenser mics with this because it's got phantom power. You can control the input levels and on the back there's a mini stereo headphone socket for monitoring. So one idea for producing content is to interview your fans after gigs and you can use this to get their direct feedback. So if it's positive, then you know what you're doing right. Or if it's not so great, then you'll find out what you need to do to improve your performance. But of course here, what we're looking for is gushing fans so we can use their comments for social proof on our online profiles. So the first thing is to edit the video. Then make sure you name the video file with some good keywords that could include your group name, the gig name, and maybe the city you've just played in, for instance. Then you upload it to your YouTube channel. Also add those keywords into the video title, into the description box, and in the tags. Don't forget, one of the main reasons for having a video is to get people to go to your website where they can hear your music, see your photos, and you can offer them a free song in exchange for their name and email addresses. So add a hot link to your website in the description box. You may want to add the video to a playlist for fans' testimonials and then add the video link as fresh content to your Facebook page so all your fan base get to see, like, and comment on it. Later in the week, Maybe Thursday would be a great time to embed the video onto a blog post on your website with a few extra photos, and then you can promote that post on Facebook so you can get even more mileage out of it. Of course, you must get the consent of your fans to use the video footage of them. Okay, I hope you can take something from this short video, and I'll see you soon. To stay up to date with our future videos, simply click the button to subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you on the next video.